good first day of work. Uh, obviously, our focus is nothing else but the game in front of us. Uh, we all understand the focus and preparation needed to lead us to success, and that's what we got to have. Uh, we got to uh, continue to practice good, um, meet good, and um, get to game day and hungry and excited to play in front of our fans again, in front of our home crowd. Uh, they've been outstanding uh, attending the games. I do have a challenge to them, though. I like for them to get in the stands before the game starts, and I want them to be as loud as they've ever been. You know, this week, uh, our players will need that. We need that assistance for them so they can help us this week by being at their best as well. So, um, and they've been outstanding. But boy, we need a little more from them this week too, boy. So get in the stands early before this thing starts and uh, be as loud as you can be. That's what we love to have. Uh, injuries, Rashard Higgins is the only guy that wasn't able to make it, obviously. Uh, we'll still uh, use that as week to week, see where we are. Um, but again, it was a good first day to get back on the grass. Our players have been away a little bit, gave them a little downtime, uh, uh, come back today and Practice, we need to have a really good practice tomorrow and Friday and, and uh, Saturday. Keep putting the finishing touches on and get ready for a big time game. Baker said his one of his main focuses is not to take as many sacks. Mm -hmm. um, have you been stressing that with him and how can he avoid that? I think we all are. I mean, again, Baker um, takes takes on every issue we have, you know, and I appreciate that about him. And obviously he can get the ball out a little quicker at times. We got to protect him better. We got to be in the right place for outs. Um, we got to communicate better. I mean, we just got to do that better. We don't want our quarterback getting sacked five times. And then, like I said, there's some things he knows he can do better. But I, again, I think it's a whole unit. Uh, we need to do better that way. When you look at um, when you look at Philip Rivers, you know what do you you know what can you say about how good Philip is and what He's you guys good. have to do? I mean, I've played against this guy so many times. You know, being in the AFC West, watching him compete, uh, he's one of the best that's played the game. And guys completing over 70% of his passes uh, doesn't look like he's slowing down at all. I mean, he's um, one of the top quarterbacks in this league, bar none, knows how to play. Um, they play to him. Everything's done for him. It should be. He knows how to play. And uh, he's playing at a high level again this year. Along the lines of uh, the, the guys in your wideout core, after Jarvis Landry are, are relative newcomers. Uh, have you noticed that there's been an unusual amount of attention uh, uh, devoted to Landry? It's just kind of normal stuff for a good receiver. No, I think it's normal for a good receiver. But, you know, I think until our other guys start really showing what they are, you know, you're going to pay even more attention to them. So uh, we need some guys to continue to step up. Callaway, um, uh, which Willie's did last week. You know, and uh, Streeter was out there last week. Um, again, David made plays. Duke made plays. We need to continue, um, you know, to keep pushing the guys on our team that can make plays. And I think that would take a little pressure off Jarvis. But I think Jarvis likes it that way. He likes it when all the tension is thirst upon him because he wants to be able to make those plays. Is there any pressure on uh, Mayfield in terms of uh, wanting to jam it in there? at times when it might not be there? No, I, you know, I think Baker's handled that part of it pretty well. You know, um, he's uh, spread the ball around and given it to guys so they can make plays. Um, you know, I, I don't sense that. I haven't, I haven't seen that. I think he's playing within our system. Uh, he's done a good job thus far that way. About how you feel about some of the young receivers on this team. You didn't bring anyone in after the trade of Josh. Higgins is hurt now and you're just kind of going with what you have. Could you just talk a little bit about some of those young guys and, and your belief in them and what you like about them? Well, I think you said it. I think we believe in them. We drafted them. We, you know, we put them on this team, and they've been with us through OTAs and training camp and preseason and into the season. So they know our system and what's expected, and I think that has a lot to do with it. You know, I think if you're going to put somebody on the team, it needs to be a substantial upgrade than what you have because that person's probably going to have to spend some time learning what to do and how to do it. So there's a huge curve there. So why not trust in the guys that you have here? And let's, you know, really put our resources into those guys and do everything we can to get them to be the best they can be. And obviously, when you talk about Willie's, he made plays last week. You know, Callaway has made some plays, and he will continue to make plays for us. You know, Streeter is kind of new. Um, but at the same time, you know, he's, he's going to do some things for us, and you never know what's going to happen with Radley. You know, we got some young guys that are, you know, that hadn't played, that are up, that are on the roster, 
um, that we can thrust into action is when we see we need to. So we feel good about the group. They need to continue to get better, but at the same time, I think it's a talented group. Do you think Dave Johnson might play a little wide receiver? I'm sorry. Do you think he could be in the mix on No, that? he could. I mean, any time, you know, Duke's skill set allows us to do a lot of different things with him, you know, and uh, as you see, we, you know, split him out a little bit this past week, and I'm sure we'll do other things with him as we go. But, I mean, Duke is, is very talented, and obviously when he has the ball in his hands, good things happen. I should have asked you this after the game, but we got lost in the shuffle, but... Having said what you said about the two-point try a week earlier, why did you go for uh, PAT? It's all about the game, Tony. You know, it's about the game. You know, it's about being aggressive. There's a time and a defense that you're facing. They have a lot to do with that, too. You know, so I knew we were playing one of the better defenses, so I thought every point mattered. You know, um, it's every week. You know, every week is what do you need to do that week to win that game, and that's how we look at it. You guys made the decision to keep Willie's on the the initial 53. What what did you see in him? Uh, a really good athlete. You know, he's very tall, long, uh, can run. Uh, he works at it. It's important to him. He's excited about playing special teams. Many receivers, as you know, they come into the league, they don't want to play special teams. You know, he's all about the team, and that means a lot to you know our, our staff. Uh, he's willing to do anything we ask him to do. And on on top of that, more so than anything, we think he's talented. Up to the fans because Rivers is so good changing plays at the line. Absolutely. We'll take we need we need twelve people when they're on offense and the twelve person is gonna be our, our crowd. You, uh, you know, a lot of guys today were talking about their belief in the team and what it can do. Is the next step stringing a couple wins back to back? Oh absolutely. I mean that's why we're we're playing, you know. Every game we play in we we're trying to win. So I think a guy's the next step for us is to start winning back-to-back -back games, you know, regardless of who the opponent is. You know, it's coming in the building with the right focus, the right, you know, uh, process every week, and then going out and playing as hard and as well as we can. And I think our guys are prepared to do that. To start, you guys have gotten off to convince some of the guys who've been here through the losing that this is a different team, a different group? No, I think this was a different team once we start putting new players on the team. I think we all knew that, you know, I think we're just seeing the, the fruit of all the decisions that were made to move forward, you know, and I think the players know that, um, you know, again, they've, we've done some good things, but really, what have we done? We've really done nothing, you know, and they know that uh, we got to put our heads down and keep working, you know, keep getting better. We have so many things to keep cleaning up, so many things to keep working at to get better at, you know, we're into the second quarter of the season and uh, we got to continue to get better. We talk a lot about what... Uh, the college guys who don't play special teams and they're learning special teams for the first time. Then there's Denzel Ward, who was blocking kicks at Ohio State. Right. And he was named the special teams player of the week. Just how refreshing is it to have a guy like him added to the special teams? You no, know, it's really good. You know, you just said he had a talent uh, for doing it in college, and that's, you know, followed him here uh, to the National Football League. Very talented player. Uh, again, he has some things he's got to keep working at, but he's off to a good start. And that's that's a good thing. Have you seen his confidence grow throughout the season as he keeps making plays? Right? Uh, I think you know that's what it is for these young guys. The more they make plays, the more confident you become. You know, and I think um, you know he's stacking up some wins for himself personally. And uh, as a football team, we're starting to stack those up too. So guys start feeling good about what they're doing and what they're trying to accomplish each and every day. Every week. Um, you end up saying on offense, we got to get them more touches. One week it was Nick Chubb, last week, you know, Duke Johnson. Obviously, it's a great problem to have, mm -hmm. but um, how do you find the balance through, throughout the game to fulfill that? Of well, you find, you find it the best you can. I mean, we still hand it to him. We handed it to Nick, but like I told you guys, it's not going to always be 63 yards and 41 yard touchdown runs. And, you know, those are hard to find. I mean, he was hot that game. And so, um, you know, you try to ride that hand the best you can. And um, Duke made some huge plays at the end of the game, didn't do much early in the game, you know. So um, guys have to be patient. You know, there's only one football. And, um, you know, we're doing some good things. There's some things, like I just said, we can do better uh, as a unit, offensive unit, defensive unit, and special teams. But at the same time, we can't get selfish. You know, this is about winning. It's not about personal stats or personal pride or any of that. It's about our football team 
And that's what we talk about more than anything. Now, those players can contribute. There's no question about that. And we, we need to give them the opportunity to do those things. But at the same time, this is about winning. It's not about you know, what anybody thinks, how many times this guy should carry it or catch it or any of that. It's how are we going to win? And that's the most important part of this. Uh, this is your third rookie class, now your third team. <laughs> and this rookie class is really having an impact in these five games, mm -hmm. uh, even if you count Desmond Harrison, who's part of it. So what would you say so far about this rookie class? Is, is it unusually good, or is it just what you expect? It's, um, I, I want to say this what I expect. <laughs> You know, uh, I think, like I said, I think John Dorsey uh, being here in the personnel department and our coaches have a lot to do with that, first and foremost. Um, but I think this is what you can start to expect. You know, I think um, how we see players, uh, we see them a lot through the same lens. How we go about our process, you know, has been a good one. We need to continue to tighten all those things up as we go. Uh, but this has been John's track record. You know, he goes and finds talent. And then he turns it over to the coaches, and we have to coach it and put these guys in position to make plays. And I think that's what's starting to happen. Did you let Snoop throw it out there at all? Uh, he, he's going to always throw whenever he's around. You no, know, Snoop is, I've, I've known him for quite a while. Uh, he's been around some other places I've been. I won't say what teams they were, but um, it was good to have him out for a moment. He, you know, a lot of guys seen him on the sideline, and the, his message was, man, you guys are doing some good things, some really good things. And I thought that was great. But at the same time, um, there are going to be a lot of people that want to come be on this wagon when the wagon gets rolling, and uh, we're going to circle the wagon. And I know that because uh, I didn't see any of these people for the last two years. You know, I'm still the same guy, still knew all these people prior to this year. Uh, so uh, we're not going to get caught up in any of that. You know, our players won't, you know, and that's my, my word and my message to them. You know, we, we're going to work, and we're going to continue to get better. And, see what we are.